I got some news coming out right now. I got to put two or three stories out. But Turkey on the Sheik of Canelo is definitely drawing the line. And I'm not finna get into it either. I'm finna watch from the sidelines. Whatever Turkey on the Sheik do to this grown man or say to him, that's his business. Because Canelo, he started it. So Turkey on the Sheik uh, went back. Because Turkey on the Sheik is trying to put $100 million. I'm telling you, anybody in... No, I'm letting anybody know right now. If anybody is out there, if somebody's trying to put $100 million in your pocket, would you talk to them the way Canelo was talking to Turkey Ellis Sheet? When people say, that's Canelo. Uh, if Floyd was talking to Turkey Ellis Sheet like this, I'll be looking at Floyd crazy too. So that's, that doesn't matter. I don't care who it is. Um, you fighting for the money, right? Because he ain't fighting for the uh, legacy. So right now, Turkey Ellis Sheet says they want uh, – he says that Canelo, you know, I heard what Canelo said and that he respects me but doesn't like the way we do business. said that he res respects him. So Turkey Alla Sheet knows that. As for him respecting me, it doesn't matter to me if he does or not. And I'm going to be real with you. Uh, I like that Turkey Alla Sheet says that because I actually live by that too. A lot of people, it don't matter if somebody respects you or not. As for the way I do business, I... I know why he doesn't like it, because I only target big fights at fair prices. So, of course, anyone who likes easy fights won't like that. Woo! Did you hear what he said? Let me repeat that one more time. He says, I know why he doesn't like it, because I only target big fights at fair prices. So, of course, anyone who likes easy fights won't like that. And I know how he feels. After losing to Dimitri Bivol. So, he's been looking for easier fights ever since. Wow. Turkey Alashik is not a casual. Also, I'm not the one who's afraid. Also, I'm not the one who's afraid. Turkey Alashik is saying, I'll jump in the ring with Benavidez before Canelo would. He says, also, I'm not afraid. I'm not the one who's afraid of fighting Benavidez or Crawford. And a lot of people, and bro, let me tell you something else, too. A lot of people are saying, why is Turkey Alashi talking to Canelo like that? Why is Eddie Hearn talking to Deontay Wilder like that? Why is Bob Arum talking about Terrence Crawford like that? Oh, it's been going on like this, huh? Wasn't Eddie Hearn saying something about how Tank speaks that has nothing to do with boxing? Oh, but Turkey Alla Sheik say something to Canelo. Oh, oh, he's crossing the line. Bro, these promoters, they don't box. Turkey Alla Sheik doing, he actually isn't even going as far as these other guys is doing. He's actually telling the truth. He's not a casual. But like I said, therefore, I know he was wasting our time and making excuses with big amounts of money uh, that can't be paid. So I'm continuing my way to make big fights that serve the boxing world. And he's on his way to making it easy Show only fights. And he drops the mic. Man, Turkey Alashik is a dog, man. I'm just at this point right now, I just might as well should report that like that because I have uh the other stories that go to go along with that. But Turkey Alashik called himself the face of boxing. You know what I'm saying? He declared himself the face of boxing. And I don't have no problem with that. Right now I can say I'm the face of boxing. Everybody, everybody was saying in the face of Boston. I heard people saying, we got Joshua in the face of I heard a reporter that's been doing boxing for 30 years, a clown, sitting up here saying, we got Joshua in the face of boxing, Fury, Tank, and uh, Canelo. I'm like, I don't even know he said Tank. I got to revisit uh, that because he's such a hater. He probably didn't, didn't even say Tank. But I'll just say, he, I think he said Tank. I know he said Canelo. So, and Joshua, who lost twice to Usyk. Um, so, uh, everybody been calling all kind of people faces of boxing. And right now, people been saying Turkey Alashi could save in boxing. They've been saying that before this fight even happened, before this fight was even made. When uh, Fury and Usyk was announced to happen in May after being postponed twice, people said Turkey Alashi was saving boxing back then. So, I don't know why the double standards are starting to happen now. I wasn't... You guys were saying boxing was being saved by Anthony Joshua, Turkey Elishi, all these people. A lot of people just now starting to kind of go along with it. Everybody hasn't been all in with it. 
But he calls himself the uh the face of Austin. Hey, that's how it's gonna go. Shout out to Turkey on the sheet, cause he ain't playing no games, man. He trying to make the big fights. If you're trying to tiptoe around, he's been, he's showing the fans right now who wanna make the big fights and who don't. That's all I say. That's all I'm gonna say. Like and subscribe.